Now come to the explanation of line spectra of hydrogen using Bohr's theory. Now uh, the spectrum of hydrogen emission spectrum uh, which is given by uh, the scientist, different scientist uh, on that spectrum Bohr's gives some explanation. So explanation of line spectrum of hydrogen using Bohr's theory. Now according to the second postulate of Bohr's theory, what is that second postulate? Radiations are emitted when electron move from outer energy level to the inner energy level. That means uh, when electron move from outer orbit having higher value of principal quantum number. Suppose that uh, principal quantum number is ni in which the electron is there first and it have the higher value. Uh, that means that is the large uh, energy level uh, and then it uh, go to the move to the an inner orbit having lower value of the principal quantum number suppose it is the nf that is the final uh, stationary level or principal quantum number nf uh, the main energy level then the energy difference between that delta e is given by the expression delta e is equal to ei minus ef that means energy of higher level minus energy of lower level. Now, when electron move from outer orbit of higher value of principal quantum number to the inner orbit having the lower value of principal quantum number, then radiations are emitted that are shown in the emission spectrum. And the energy difference delta e is given by the expression delta E is equal to Ei minus E up. But E is equal to what? We know that energy is given in the joules by the equation minus Rh in bracket 1 divided by n square. We see already that here Rh is the red bar constant for hydrogen and n is the principal quantum number. Now on substituting this value of the energy on substituting this value in this equation delta E is equal to E minus E F what we obtain delta E is equal to minus R H divided by E N I square because this is the energy of initial state so here is the N I square minus again in bracket minus R H divided by N F square this is the energy of the final energy level so here is the N F now, on uh, solving this, what we obtain? This minus minus becomes plus. So, this becomes plus Rh divided by Nf square. Now, Rh on the both uh, square have the common Rh. So, this Rh is that is out of the square. And first there is the 1 upon Nf square and then minus uh, 1 upon Ni square. Now, this relation we obtain in the joules. Now we know the value of Rh 2.18 into 10 to minus 18 and here 1 divided by Nf square minus 1 divided by uh, 1 divided by N square that is in joule. Now we know that again delta E in joule is given as uh, H that is the Planck constant in joule per second into mu that is the mu number. Uh, now in the hertz. Frequency in hertz, mu, sorry, frequency in hertz. Now, this is the equation number y. Now, see, uh, we already see this equation delta E in joules, that is the difference in energy levels. When electron go from outer energy level to lower energy level, then the difference between the energies is given by delta E in joule is equal to H, that is the Planck constant in joule per second and mu that is the frequency in hertz. Now if one, we want the frequency in hertz then mu is equal to delta E divided by H. Now uh, we also know the wave number. Wave number is given in the per centimeter. Wave number is equal to mu that is the frequency in hertz divided by velocity of light in centimeter per second. Now if we substitute this is the x equation. If we substitute the value of mu in this equation, what we obtain? Uh, that is the wave number in per centimeter is equal to delta E. This delta E in joule. Now this is the value of this nu. 
what is the value of mu delta e in joule divided by planck constant so delta e in joule divided by h in joules per second and in, uh, into 1 divided by this velocity of light again substitute the value of delta e from the last equation we already see that what is the value of delta e that is the 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 in bracket 1 divided by n x square minus 1 divided by n i square the equation which is already we seen that uh, now substitute the value of this delta e 2.18 into 10 raised to minus 18 and this is the value Again, this is the Planck constant value 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 24. This is the Planck constant in joule per second and velocity of light is 3 into 10 raised to minus 10 centimeter per second. And uh, if we calculate all these uh, value, then it is equal to uh, mu bar frequency, wave, sorry, wave number is equal to uh, 10, 000, uh, 1 lakh 96 900 sorry 1 lakh 9677 this is the that is the number uh, which is constant number and in bracket 1 divided by nf square minus 1 divided by ni square in centimeter now this is just like that of the that is uh, redbergs uh, constant this is redbergs constant uh, per centimeter but the value of redbergs constant in joule is this and in this way this is proved that this NF that is the final energy level and NI that is the initial energy level. These are the values of the quantum number. Then it is um, similar to that of the Bohr's theory of stationary, uh, stationary state. The stationary state are given by the number N is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 in this way. Now comes to the limitation of Bohr's model. Though Bohr gives the difference energy level, mains level, their energy, how the, the expression of the energy difference, how to calculate the energy of the energy level, how to calculate the radii of the energy level that is the distance from the nucleus up to that energy level that is called as the radii. All these expressions are given by the Bohr's model. He give the emission spectrum, he give the explanation of emission spectrum of the hydrogen atom very clearly. But still its model have some limitation. Limitation means drawbacks, that is errors. So uh, Bohr's model also have the errors. Now which are that errors? The first one is that the Bohr's theory or model failed. To explain the details of hydrogen atom spectrum observed in sophisticated spectroscope experiment. Though Bohr explained the emission spectrum of hydrogen atom, but when we see that experiment by the sophisticated instruments such as the spectroscope, very sophisticated, there are some finer lines are also there in the emission spectrum. Now, Bohr failed to explain that fine structure of hydrogen emission spectrum. Now, this is the first one limitation of the Bohr's theory. What is the second? Bohr's model was unable to explain the emission spectrum of hydrogen atom other than hydrogen. Uh, that means Bohr's model was unable to explain the emission spectrum of atoms other than hydrogen. He only gave the explanation about the emission spectrum of hydrogen atom but there are the so many atoms of different elements that cannot be given by Bohr's theory their, their uh, explanation their emission spectrum explanation cannot be given by the Bohr model so this is also its limitation now third one limitation is that Bohr's theory could not explain the splitting of the spectral lines in magnetic or electric field uh, splitting means the lines which are finer lines that is the bracket lines, Lehmann's lines, then uh, that is uh, Fern's lines, such uh, uh, Pastian lines, such different lines are there into the emission spectrum but they are in the band form. But after uh, seeing in the sophisticated in, uh, instrument they are uh, seen as that of the finer lines that Bohr's theory could not explain the splitting. Their splitting cannot be explained by the Bohr's theory which is shown in the magnetic field and electric field later and that are called as the Zeeman effect and Stark effect. 
the magnetic uh, field uh, uh, that is the emission spectrum when seen the magnetic field that effect is called as the Zeeman effect and when in the electric field that is called as the star effect. The last one is the uh, last one is the uh, limitation of Bohr's theory is the Bohr's theory failed to explain the ability Bohr's theory failed to explain the ability of atoms to form molecules by chemical bond. How the atoms form the molecules by the chemical bond is uh, could not be explained by the Bohr's theory. So all these four are the limitations of the Bohr's theory.